Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Nude Wellness. I'm Selena. If you're new here, it is great to be back and to have more people on the channel, which is amazing. This is the place where we strip away your limiting beliefs. I am totally not going to film what I intended on filming. Um, I have jumped off my membership call and I'm feeling in a really spicy mood. So I am just going to share what I need to share and intend that it reaches the right people. Before I dive into things, my disclaimer, as always, we're all adults here, so just use discernment, your reality, your rules, take what resonates, discard what doesn't, you are in charge. Okay, let's do it. Stop being so fucking nice. Stop being so nice, and you don't need to be resentful. Both are really important, especially when it comes to a specific person. Okay, I will give you an example. If you already have plans in place with your friends or you're doing something even if the plans were, you know what, I am going to watch my episode that I need to watch at home and I'm going to have a night in. And this person who you're manifesting decides to hit you up last minute, even if it's not last minute, just decides to hit you up and be like, hey, can I see you on that date? You don't need to accept that movement if you already have plans. In fact, I would encourage you not to because that habit of you continuing to prioritize them, especially if you have plans with other people, like how fucking rude is that? You've actually organized things with someone and you're going to dip on them and ditch them because you've got a little bit of movement from this person. See how that's the issue? See how you're putting this person up here and your plans and what you want to do down here. And that's just going to snowball. That is going to snowball. You were going to continue to be in the habit of, oh, yeah, I can be flexible. I can be super accommodating. Oh, that's okay. And it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. And then one day you're like, fuck, they're not prioritizing me at all. I am always asked out last minute. Like I'm not getting the communication. I'm not getting the commitment. Like I'm not getting anything. You're actually being really rude because you are in the habit of continuing to prioritize them over you. Stop over prioritizing someone who hasn't committed to you, but also don't be resentful. If they're in the process of still conforming or the situation is in the process of conforming, you don't need to be resentful. You can say what you need to say. Like I said in my last video, if you want to put in a boundary, go for it. Most things don't need a reaction. So if your person hasn't contacted you in a while, okay, so what? I know this is going to happen. I'm going to be working on my beliefs, saying my affirmations, and I'm going to go live my life. I don't need to be entertaining or engaging with this version of them. If I don't hear from them for a couple of days, a week, two weeks, however long, so what? I'm not going to wait for anything. See how that is so fucking attractive because you're not so clung, like so obsessed with that and so like, oh my God, like I need to see you and you're trying to make stuff happen. You actually are allowing people to the space to breathe and you're not like hung up on whether they message you or not. <laughs> Come on. Communication and commitment are an all consistent thing for you. If you really knew that, then this wouldn't even phase you. You don't have to be nice and be bending over backwards. Just because you got movement from someone doesn't mean that you have to change your whole fucking life or all your plans because you got movement. The movement will keep continuing the more you prioritize yourself, the more you prioritize your beliefs, and you know that this is working. Okay, let me just say this. You are not materializing just this person. You are materializing the whole dynamic and the whole relationship here. It is not just this person's coming in. They're going to be tired at some point. They're going to be stressed. You guys might have arguments. Whatever is happening in regards to life, if all you know how to do is I'm just going to affirm, 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 and you actually aren't in the habit of prioritizing yourself, your beliefs aren't in alignment, you don't know how to handle conflict, you don't know how to communicate, then why do you think that's going to be a very pleasant experience, this relationship? It's not. It doesn't matter what is happening in the 3D. You're going to know that this is all working out for you. So if your person is kind of moody, going through things, um, tired, stressed at work, you've had an argument, it doesn't matter. It doesn't mean you failed. You don't have to be sitting there all day, like affirming that everything is perfect. It's like, no, like I'm going to either drop the focus on this and go live in my imagination and go prioritize myself. I'm going to put in boundaries if I need to, but most things don't need a reaction. Stop being so fucking nice. For a long time, I thought looking at someone's message and just reading it and prioritizing something else, especially when they're not acting how I want them to be acting, was rude. It is not rude. It is not rude. So many people are in the habit of putting other people's feelings above their own. You are chasing after someone who isn't even acting properly when you're a fucking catch. Sorry, let that land. You are chasing after someone who isn't acting properly 
when you're a fucking catch and you would not even be doing any of that behavior. Why are you chasing after that person? And at the same time, because this is where the manifestation point comes in, you don't need to be resentful. You don't need to be looping in your head how much of a shithead they are or how they're acting rude or this version of them you don't like. It's like, I'm not even going to engage with that in the physical 3D. And in my mind, I'm going to know where this is going. I'm going to be focusing on my beliefs about relationships. I'm going to be focusing on my assumptions about them. And I'm going to be very steadfast and unwavering with where I know this is going. And I'm not going to wait for anything. I'm going to be focused on me. Please stop being so fucking nice and don't be resentful. It's a balancing act, okay? It's it's honestly a balancing act. Most people go like, they will be, like, someone will message them, hey, how's it going? Or they'll send them a meme and you're like, oh my God, I missed you so much. Like, when can we catch up? Whoa, 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 whoa. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. That's way over here being super, super people pleaser and being super, super desperate. And then on the other hand, everyone wants to make all these arguments, like, how dare you? You didn't message me. You didn't follow up with me, blah, 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 blah. We don't need to do that shit either. If you knew that commitment, communication, respect, love was a normal and consistent thing for you, half the shit wouldn't even bother you. And if you were annoyed by it, you'd just be like, uh, whatever. I know this is going to unfold how I want it to unfold. So I'm not even going to engage in this. The more you engage, the more you focus on all this little middle shit, the more that it's just going to materialize and snowball. Keep prioritizing you. Keep prioritizing you. Okay. That's today's video. I intend it was so helpful. It was a lovely short one, but it was needed because it was, I, I ranted heaps in the membership. So come join the membership, Confident Creator membership. We go live every Monday, 10.30 my time. Details are in the description below. It's such a vibe. Um, I love a bit of hot seat coaching and being able to answer people's questions and also riff on my own experience. If you're after one-on-one -on -one coaching, also details are in the description below. DM coaching is my vibe because I feel that is, I can, I can get into people's minds more quickly. That banging is starting to annoy me. So I'm going to hop off. I'm going to love you and leave you. I will see you in the next video. Toodles. Bye.